right. So relationships seem to be the backdrop of what's going on in the shift and change that's happening. Um, today we had uh, astrologer and transpersonal therapist Diane Lerner on Awakenings Radio. Uh, you can reach her at PiscesSolutions.org. Uh, we had so many callers, uh, I think we, in the queue, and I know we didn't get to everyone. And then we had a little bit of a discussion after the show went off the air, and I thought, oh my God, I got to get this information out. This is great. Uh, so I want to share uh, a, a bit of this um, with you. So this is, in essence, an addendum to the Awakenings Radio segment that a, a, that aired uh, December 1st, 2010, and that's Awakenings Radio on blogtalkradio.com. Um, so we brought Diane Lerner back to uh, share a bit uh, with us. Uh, hi, Diane. Hi, Michelle. Oh, thanks for taking this just extra few minutes um, so we can get this great information out to uh, people. Now, you're you welcome. S- yeah, you said something that really hit me. You were talking about how um, there's there's relationship intensification that's preparing people for the new era. And then you also mentioned that the Saturn in Libra and the Pluto in Capricorn uh, is the backdrop to get people to make changes. And could you elaborate on that? Sure. Well, Saturn in Libra is basically creating a need to restructure our relationships. And that includes our personal relationships, professional, societal, politics, you know, the whole collective realm as well. Um, What we're hearing a lot about these days is the the relationship imbalances. Um, And and this has been going on since approximately October of 2009, uh, Saturn in Libra. And then it ends in October of 2012. And we had a kind of an intensification of that when Saturn squared Pluto, which was pretty much um, uh, this year of 2010. So it created a a power struggle energy in in a lot of relationships. And and again, just kind of intensified the imbalances uh, that existed so the imbalances are b- becoming more apparent. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. and also we're looking at values. You know, relation Libra also has to do with our values. So whatever is not, uh, not being acknowledged or appreciated in relationship uh, is becoming more apparent because, again, we're also getting more clear on what we value. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, why is this all happening? I mean, we, we talked about this, and even on the show today, uh, people, I'm finding even though if they're not working or they need to get money in, it still seems that the, the focus right now is really about relationship. Am I gonna, is this person going to turn around? Are we going to get married? Uh, is this we're going to work out? Or they're not talking to me? Are they going to talk to me? Right, right. Should I leave my husband? Should I leave my wife? Should I introduce my my, my uh partner to my my you know mother or my father why all this focus it seems you know you've been doing this a long time I've been doing this a long time it's yes it's always about relationship but it seems like a lot of times it's about relationship and other things and I feel like relationship is even taking key precedence over financial issues right right where perhaps you know, again mentioning you know values you know what are the priorities uh, Libra is about balance, you know, and, and looking at what the priorities are. Um, and yes, of course, you know, relationships is what our lives revolve around. We're always relating. Um, but I think we're, we're trying to move into more right relationships. Um, the new paradigm, the new era that's emerging, you know, this kind of uh, awakening that we're uh, going through is also going to be supportive of us identifying with what those values are and especially again astrologically next year more of the Aries energy will be um, at work Jupiter and Uranus are going to move into Aries so we're going to be stepping into our purpose more and getting more clear on um, you know what we're here to do what our, our personal values are 
hence it becoming a smoother um, ride in terms of, you know, looking at the relationship area, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But I do agree. I, I'm hearing that a lot as well. You know, the, the, it's like the values, the priorities are not quite in order. We're looking too much uh, to the partner for support um, and expecting validation from a partner, perhaps, rather than, you know, valuing the self and, and having a balance there, you know, having perspective. Mm -hmm. And how is this, so this backdrop of obviously Saturn and Libra, Pluto and Capricorn, and then Jupiter right. and Uranus, um, and Aries next year moving into Uranus. What is that preparing? Because a lot of people say they feel a sense of urgency or something new is coming mm -hmm. up or they feel changes. Mm -hmm. They don't know what's going on, but they're, how does that fit in to what people are feeling right now? Well, I think they're, they're feeling um, kind of a, a nudge or an urge Mm. that something new is awaiting them or something is, is wanting to unfold. And um, it's true. That's, you know, that's exactly what's happening. Um, as we get closer uh, to the new year and as, you know, as it unfolds, I think we'll start to see people moving more into uh, their purpose. Uh, Aries is an energy, it's a cardinal fire sign that deals with action. So a lot of the ideas and a lot of the, um, you know, the, the plans will start to uh, manifest more uh, next year. And, of course, you know, it's 2011. It's, it's the year before um, the, uh, that, the winter solstice, you know, very uh, important time of, of the, you know, the ending of the Mayan calendar mm -hmm. and the new era actually beginning. So very and profound. So, so these astrological aspects and then of course the energetic matrix matrix that these represent the shifts and changes of the energy patterns. What is that how did what does that have to do with the new you mentioned it earlier the new era some say new paradigm or aquarian age. What does that have to do with the the aquarian age? Well, I think that with the aquarian age we're we have to kind of look and see what that means first, which is what? It's a time of uh, humanitarianism, group consciousness, more teamwork, more tolerance, more compassion, more equality. Um, all, of, all of this new um, paradigm mm -hmm. is going to require us having you know, our ducks in a row, so to speak. And again, this is just kind of like there's this impetus or this... Uh, pull to evolve. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately, it's it's evolving our consciousness. Mm, I love that. Well, evolution of consciousness. So all of this is assisting us in this evolution of consciousness, or moving us in that direction of the evolution of consciousness. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, mm -hmm. Diane, for taking um, the time to uh, share more of your insights and understanding about the shift. Um, especially from Very welcome. the astrological point of view. And uh, those uh, that are listening to this, we've been speaking with astrologer and transpersonal therapist Diane Lerner, and you can reach her at PiscesSolutions.org, and you can also tune in to the uh, radio segment uh, that we did together, uh, Awakenings Radio, and uh, it's the segment that aired on December 1st, 2010. All right. Keep shining your light and keep awake. <laughs>